Have you ever been jolted to full alertness by the sound of a knock on the door in the evening, way past the normal hours that social etiquette would allow for visitors? If you have, you will know that it's a heart pumping experience. As various thoughts start racing through your mind of what this unexpected intrusion into your ordinary evening routine might signify. Well, if you can imagine the nervousness that such a surprise visit could engender, multiply that emotion by a thousand and you get something of a sense of what a group of shepherds must have felt a couple of thousand years ago as they stood in the quiet Judean countryside just minding their own sheep when suddenly an angel of the Lord appeared to them and the glory of the Lord shone around them and we read that they were terrified. It's a normal human instinct to be wary of unexpected visitors and even more so ones that glow in the dark. The shepherds are understandably afraid in the presence of such luminescent glory and otherworldly power. But what is it that the angel says to the shepherds in their fear? He says, do not be afraid, for I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord, and this will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. And now as if one unexpected angelic visitor wasn't enough, suddenly a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. Wow, it's a lot to take in for a group of sheep farmers. They are not men of great power or learning or influence. They are men of the people, men of the land bounded by the ordinary limitations and rhythms of an agricultural life. They're tough, down to earth, practical. So why did God choose to reveal his good news to these men first, rather than to the high and mighty? Well, it may have been to show that God's love is for everyone, even those whom society sometimes overlooks or ignores. And it may have been because the shepherds have something important to teach us as well in the way that they responded to the angel's good news. So what did these humble and practical men do in response to such news? What else but go and investigate whether what the angel had to say was true. We read that when the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. And it was true. Things were just as the angel had said. And so we read the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God. Isn't that interesting that their journey started with them shaking in fear, but it ended with them shouting for joy. What was it that made the difference that brought them from a place of trepidation to a place of celebration? Well, what made the difference was they got the message. They got the message. What about you? Have you got the message? The message of Christmas, which is the good news that God has sent us a rescuer, a savior the Lord Jesus Christ, and that we have nothing to fear, even in the presence of God's luminescent glory and power, if we will but put our trust in Jesus. As it says in the Bible, God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, that whosoever puts their trust in him will not perish, but have everlasting life. God did not send Jesus into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through him. This is the good news of Christmas that leads to great joy. So easily obscured in the busyness and commercialism of the holiday season, but so much the essence of what the birth of Jesus is all about, that God loves you and is for you. So if you've not yet discovered the joy of God's love through Jesus in your own life, then why not take a leaf out of the book of those very down to earth and practical shepherds why not investigate the good news for yourself this Christmas?